Hello. So today we are here with that did not sound good. That was it's a crash. Just water okay. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you need to include in here. We Make it real. Are That's here right. with <laughs> Justin and Rebecca Rhodes from Abundant Permaculture. That's right. Yes, they are touring the country. I have been watching them for oh man, probably a year and a half. Oh, wow. You're from the beginning. Yeah, then. you had just started, and I have just I'm. I've always wanted to be a homesteader myself. <laughs> Mike does I can not. That. Mike does not quite have the homesteading enthusiasm. That I, have. I did. I when still I was haven't rubbed me. off on you. Man, after all this time. I know. Well, no, Maybe he doesn't watch. Like, Maybe uh, you need to get him to watch. I'll tell you what. It was some construction that kind of broke me a little bit. I was thinking. Yeah, like, we had a huge construction project, and he's like, you know what? I don't know how much more of this I can yeah. do. But anyway, I have just been fascinated with the whole concept of taking your bus and turning it into a house okay. and traveling around the country, and yet you're still earning a living. Yes. And so you guys are a little bit like us. You earn your living totally online, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so, so how hard is it to earn money online <laughs> from someone else's point of view? Yeah, I'm going to defer that to Justin there. It's hard. It's, it's hard, hard just like making a living anywhere. Yeah. I mean, one thing that people don't understand necessarily is, oh, you know, take a break, take a break, you know. Well, just like any job, if you don't show up, you don't get paid. So, with all, and you take a lot of risk. Yeah. And it's fluctuating. I mean, your income can vary dramatically from one month to the next. Right. So it's yeah. very entrepreneurial. I think if you don't have an entrepreneur spirit, it's going to be hard unless you're working online as a data entry person for some company or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or you're doing virtual assistance or something like that where yeah. it's maybe yeah. more steady. But. So how many hours do you guys think you put in? 16 Actual hours a day. Work. <laughs> 16 hours a day. <laughs> really? That's I mean, This is not true, the passive it? income, guys. It can, be, it can be anywhere from 12 to 16. I mean, sometimes we have days where it's only 8 and we're like, whoa, that was easy. Now, now <laughs> yeah. our job involves being with our children. Yeah. And going to cool places and being on farms. So it doesn't yeah. necessarily feel like work. It doesn't feel like work. It yeah. feels like work when at 11 o'clock I lay on the bed and it's still like, oh my gosh, we still have to edit. Yeah. And it feels like work, but for the most part, we have a job that we love. It feels like every day is Saturday. Yeah. yeah. See, and that's where people don't, they think that we just sit down, do our live show three times a week. People that's always it. ask on the live show, what does Mike do? <laughs> what is Mike's job? And he goes to the library to edit because you know oh, we have wow. kids too. And so he goes and sits at the library. So we're always talking about him going to the library to work. And they're like, oh, Mike works at the library. He's, no, he works at the library, not for us. the library. I've done that at McDonald's too. So when you questions. edit at the library? Yeah. On their computers? No, no I take my MacBook Pro. Okay. I was going to be like, man. It's like edit an, it on it's, <laughs> yeah, okay. it's like yeah, a free good. office space because they have okay. these rooms. You know? Yes, yes, our library has this too. Yeah, but it's work. So we yeah. will spend a good eight to ten hours yeah. a day, yeah. one person, and we have three yeah. people working on our business. Yeah. And so, you know, we'll put in probably 60, 70 hours a week yeah. Yeah. between everybody. And I'm chronically ill, so I don't have the energy to right. put in all the time. And so yeah. I just wanted your, your side of it. Now, would you recommend people doing this? Have, well, have you ever heard that the entrepreneur says, I don't know, something like I quit my 40 hour job because I was worn out to go work 80 hours a week for myself, but there's joy in that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I recommend it? I definitely recommend it to an entrepreneur. Are you born or can you grow into an entrepreneur? I'm not sure. I'm sort of leaning like entrepreneurs seem to be born into that yeah. and can nurture that. Yeah. So that you kind of sort of have to know but you what know, are you into. I think that you could change your mindset. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. that entrepreneurialism is a mindset. Yeah. And if you can't, if you have the capacity to tell yourself like, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this job and I'm gonna work it and you know, it's gonna be, then you have like a plan, maybe you could do it. I don't know. I don't wanna discourage anyone. But, but I, well, do I don't wanna yeah. discourage I, people, but it's you have to be time. realistic also. Yeah. Well, well, we have friends though that have said to us like, working for myself isn't an option because I couldn't do that. It would stress me out too much. I need the stability of, of like working for somebody. I'm not a self-starter. You have to be a yeah. self-starter. Yeah. I mean, definitely like the stability of a paycheck is, is great. Cause like Justin was saying, it's, it, it does vary. Like, you know, you're up and down, yeah. up and down. And, and I mean, he has had his own business 
for our whole marriage. And I always had such a hard time with budgeting because I was like, how am I going to budget? Like when one month we have this much and the next month we have this much. And so yeah. it, it's always been a struggle with yeah. like budgeting because you just, you know, I mean, you have your core that you yeah. know you have to make every month, but then yeah so here's the thing on budgeting and living on one income when you're an entrepreneur how have you guys been able to transition so that you can do that because it does take a skill to realize i'm getting eight thousand dollars this month but i'm only gonna have a thousand dollars next month some and months were negative some summer. months were we negative. Got, at the time we got we just got accustomed to knowing these were lean months yeah, yeah. But since we've been doing yeah. the show it's been Better. Okay, yeah. so our solution for that was because neither one of us are bookkeepers. That's uh -huh. t we're terrible bookkeepers, right? Well, wait, hold on. So, I'm, co I'm confused with the question. <laughs> so is it that how do you transition from like a regular job mm -hmm. to that? Yeah, how so did you oh, never had a regular job? Okay, so you just always lived. That <laughs> yes, way. I so, did. I had a regular job. I worked at Walmart. So whatever. We were. Oh, you did too. He was and I was 16. like, I'm not gonna do this. I didn't make How old are you? Years old I was, was 24. 20. Okay, I got you, Pete. I lasted two, two weeks. Okay, no. two, yeah, you only lasted two weeks. So year. like, I mean, so I was like, I can't do this. I went and started mowing grass. And when yeah, we nice. transitioned from what we were doing to what we're doing now, he was really sick. Yeah. And since he's the breadwinner, it was we were we were our backs were up against the wall. Like we had this had to work or we had to find something else to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like another job to, another entrepreneurial job, because we, I don't think we could work for anybody. So that's my so. next question, because I'm chronically ill. Right. How did you go from being, because I, from what I understand, you were really, really sick with your Lyme, right? How did you go from that state to getting yourself motivated to start working? Yeah. That was the problem, is that I was physically sick, we were working, we were running a camp and a uh, farm, a market farm. So we had grass-fed beef, CSA, uh, selling eggs, and that's physically demanding, and I couldn't do that anymore. And so we were growing less food, and we couldn't sell as much through the farm, and so we were spending more than we were making. How did I get motivated? Well, this is Scarlett O'Hara. You're going to go through poverty, and you're going to do whatever it takes, like Scarlett O'Hara, not to experience that again. And, and Entrepreneurship was the answer for me. There were people that counseled me and say, oh, go get a job as a, as a waiter. And I'm like, well, did you not just hear me? My feet are killing me. Yeah, I'm and then sick. And I then, need to sleep oh, be a 14 hours. Aren't you glad I didn't listen to them? Yeah. Well, you're but a what I needed so. was, I ne <laughs> did I say bookkeeper? Yeah. Data entry person, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And yeah, I'm a horrible, uh, probably be horrible at data entry. So what? Yeah, you would have been. So what happened though, is I could go and do a homestead thing, work with my chickens, that's what I was good at, right? Okay. For two hours in the morning, the cool of the day. Yeah. And then come in and do some office work, right? And then take a nap if I needed to. A mentor had handed me the four hour work week, a book by Tim Ferriss. And I was like, oh good, I only have four hours. Yeah. Okay? Four good hours a day. And so yeah. I learned yeah. a ton from that and, and learned the basics of online marketing there is that you basically develop you build an audience through free content, whether that be video, audio, or uh, writing through blogging, or uh, audio through podcasting, and video through YouTube. Then you create content at what you're good at or want to be good at, or tell some story, and then you create that consistently and regularly. You build the audience, and then you then you launch something that helps them even further. You've got to help a, people. Which is a, a yeah. through a video and an ebook campaign. Mm -hmm. I just did it classic classic one. yeah there you go good <laughs> well thank you guys thank i you so love much. your point of view because you know we always have our side and we're like you're so worn out yeah i don't know if we yeah. can do this another day and every day you guys been working this hard at it well so we've had the business for i started writing the book 20 years ago okay. <laughs> i finished it 18 years ago okay and we've had it in print for 18 years okay. But we have just started doing the live shows and daily YouTubes okay. for the last year and a half. Okay. And that's finally what put our, the live, that's it's finally what, what put our biz, business, because the, like three months before we started live shows, I told him, I said, we're selling out of the last thousand books we have. I'm done. I'm not doing she this anymore. She would do that like once a year. I'm, I'm like, done. I quit. I quit. Because <laughs> we were making like a dollar an hour for 17 years. But you know? We did that when we had our wow, CSA. Yeah. I think we made 50 cents an hour. Yeah. yeah. 
Like a yeah. dollar an hour. And I'm yeah. like, this is, I yeah, love helping people, it. don't get me wrong. I really, really love helping them. Yeah, but, but it's not worth killing ourselves. Yeah. We'll help people in another way, right. you know? It's been pretty so, much a full time thing since 05. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't, it was just barely making it full time yeah. until yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah, right. so he hasn't had a real job since 2011. Okay. And my family, and our family so, kept asking, so when are you going to get a job? <laughs> Thinking, you know when I go to the library? That's my job. That's my, That's my job. job. So yeah, but yeah. anyway, it's it's a lot of work, but for mm -hmm. us it's worth it. Yeah, and it's super rewarding. Like we get to be with our children. We get to be together doing this job. I mean, yes, we're together, but we're also like working a lot of times. We're like, oh, you're just spending all this time with your family. And it's like, yeah, it's I mean, yes, we are spending time together, but. Sometimes, you know, like even I think it was 2015. I like looked forward to like Thanksgiving Day because I was like, yes, we spend all this time together, but we don't spend quality time together. Yeah. You know, where it's like sitting down and like talking about us or whatever. We're you know? always working. Yeah, and so, <laughs> anyways, I. Did you see a picture of her on, on the beach or on the pool with her sandals out? She's taking a picture of like salt the other day on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, on my Instagram. She ain't relaxing. That lasted for about. Four seconds. <laughs> Actually, she might have posed for that picture. Yeah, I know. No, so I mean, I was like, I had to watch the kids, you know. Yeah. So I was watching them while he was working in the bus because but there was he was no getting his there. he was getting yeah. his uh, his his editing done while we were at the pool. It worked out great. Gideon was taking a nap. The three older kids were <laughs> swimming. And I was probably checking comments on yeah. YouTube. You exactly, know, like, I know. Well, yeah. we, that's the thing yeah. I was telling Tara, stop taking comments on Sunday. <laughs> Just yeah. the computer away. Yeah. It's yeah. hard. It's but hard if you don't, it gets it. behind. It does. And you can't keep up and then you yeah. get your trolls and you get big fights and you're like, okay, gotta keep up on this, you know. But Wait, you guys get yeah. trolls too. Oh, yeah, we oh, owe. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. We've had death threats. Really? Yeah, we've actually had a death threat. That's crazy. Yeah, because I you know. guys are like teaching people how to do. What was it that they <laughs> save money? Time? What was it about? There was some Shame silly thing. Yeah. Something I about remember. making some kind of food or doing something yourself or something. This person just called me. I'm gonna come and kill you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Really. As a matter of fact, it was bad enough we had to file a police report and everything. But we were wow. like, okay. But, they were but, away, so. but you know that's yeah. not the norm. So yeah. anybody who thinks about doing this, this that's yeah. not the norm. <laughs> you have pretty good troll control. Yeah. yeah. If you keep it under control, then yeah. you know. So. Yeah. Well, it's funny. We do have some people say, I, I just, I want to be a stay-at-home mom. So I just need some internet thing. You know, they can just be kind of going. Mom, so I can work with the kids. Moms. That's what we try to tell them. Home yeah. Mom. And you don't work with the kids at home. I mean, I'm sorry, I never got any work done no unless it was <laughs> no. during nap time or after bed, yeah. you know, or that kind of thing. But so. it has been good, though, for being able to be there for kids' events. Yeah. School yeah. things. People just change our schedule. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So even though it is, yeah. I know for us, even though it is harder in some ways, like we don't get vacation time, we we'll take a vacation. Yeah. yeah. But it's still, I think, the benefit for us has been better than that. Yeah, oh, okay. I think so. Definitely. Yeah. The I pluses mean, are, are way out with the yeah. pluses, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love it. But you've got to have the personality to do this. If you're wanting to just be a stay-at-home mom working a few hours with the kids running around, don't plan on getting any work done. Yeah. <laughs> you could maybe but, do it like before they wake up, during yep. nap time or after yeah. bedtime. But yeah. it's really hard to work with the children. Yeah, and wait. it really oh, is. So, so yeah. all right. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks very much. We so thank much you. appreciate yeah, it. So, are we the only people who have come to two of your meetups? No. You've had <laughs> several. Oh, we people. did have some people in Florida. See? Well, because you know it was Florida. They came to the one that was like near Tampa, but then. Uh -huh. They were kind of close to the one that was the raw milk ice cream one, and they were like, well, I kind of want to go taste this ice cream. <laughs> so then they showed up at that one, too. So. Oh, cool. But yeah, you guys are not, I don't think we've had more people at more than the two, yeah. you know. So. I love the meetups myself. So yeah, they're fun. Yeah. They are fun. Yeah. They are fun. We used to live in Idaho. Did you? Yes. So where are you guys going? Sandpoint? Yes. You, okay. yeah. you used to live just south of there, so okay, yeah. Convert to bus. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to that. It's, like, it's kind of Nobody's far, been to the Sandpoint. Sandpoint. Yeah, it's kind of far away. Yeah. 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 You like it there? <laughs> All right, guys, go check out Justin and Rebecca at Justin Rhodes on YouTube and us at livingonadime.com, right. and we will see you guys next time.